G'day, Australia. Привітання, Білорусь! Боливія! Чао, from Bosnia, Herzegovina! Ола, Бразил! Здравей, Болгарія! Hello, Canada! Нихао, Чайна! Ахой, Чек Репаблік! Ола, кому естас? Еквадор! Мархаба! Ізе! Тере! Естонія! Хей, Суомі! Фінланд! Бонжу! Франс! Камер Джоба, Джорджія! Намасте! Індія! Хелло, апа кабер! Індонесія! Джамбу! Кенія! Аньяся! Корія! Салам, Кыргызстан! Сабайді! Лаос! Чао, Латвія! Здраво, Насіте! Маседонія! Салам, Саджатра! Малайзія! Ола! Мехико! Салют, Молдова! Тембену, Монголія! Мінглава, Німма, Намасте, Непал, Кіора, Нью-Зіленд, Оля, Парагвай, Мабуай, Філіппінс, Чешт, Полен, Оля, Португал, Буна, Романія, Привіт, Раша, Сан Бонані, Саут Африка, Хей, Суїден, Дагихо, Тайван, Саудіха, Тайланд, Баламусиза, Юганда, Вітаю. Ukraine! Hola! Venezuela! Xin chào Việt Nam!
Ladies and gentlemen, that was the sensational singer S.T. Polk with the beautiful delegates of Miss Tourism International. And now, the most important people for tonight, they will be determining the winner of Miss Tourism International 2018, our distinguished panel of judges. Please welcome Mr. Owen Yao, TV host, brand spokesperson, and author. Dutton Winnie Lou, founder of A Cut Above of Salons and Academy. Renowned fashion designer, Mr. Carvin Ong. Welcome, Dato Asnil Naomi, a popular TV host. Ms. Amber Chia, model, actress and brand ambassador. Mr. Tony Yuso, drama and screen actor. Ms. Wong Chui Ling, celebrity entrepreneur and TV host. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to meet our delegates from Europe. Belarus, Carolina. Belarus, Carolina. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Marina. Bulgaria, Inez. The Czech Republic, Adela. Estonia, Carola. Finland, Julia.
Franz Julie. Latvia, Laura. Macedonia, Angela. Moldova, Mirabella. Poland, Iwelina. Portugal, Barbara. Romania, Ada Maria. Russia, Natalia. Sweden, Pia. And Ukraine, Iana. Thank you. Delegates from the Americas. Oceania. And Africa. Please welcome Australia, Sandra. New Zealand, Nikita. Kenya, Sarah. Egypt, Rwanda. South Africa, Asanda. Uganda, Margaret. Bolivia, Yoselin. Brazil, Gabrielli. Canada, Shauna. Ecuador, Milena. Mexico. Claudia Paraguay Ellison and Venezuela Michelle
from Asia. Gentlemen, our 45 beautiful finalists of the Miss Tourism International 2018 World Final. What a grand and colorful opening of the Miss Tourism International delegates in their national costumes. And tonight, three will be selected for the best in national costumes. On that note, I would like to invite Yamar Bahagia Tan Sri Dato Tani Ui to kindly take the stage and present the winners. I would also like to invite joining Yamar Bahagia Tansri on stage, Yamar Bahagia Dato Ahmad Shah Hussein Tambaka, our Chairman of Tourism Malaysia, to kindly do the honors in presenting these first winners with their awards.
The three winners for best in national costume are Vietnam, Tran Thi Kiao Lin. Malaysia, Kayan Ng. And Bolivia, Yoseline Yeni. We'd like to invite Yamber Bahagia Tansri and Yamber Bahagia Dato Ahmad Shah Hussein Tambakao to kindly do the honors of sashing our winners. Once again, a very big congratulations to all the best in national costume, Vietnam, Malaysia, Bolivia. And thank you very much to our Yamba Bagia Tansri Dato Danny Ue and Yamba Bagia Dato Alma Shah Hussein Tambak, our Chairman of Tourism Malaysia, for presenting this award. Thank you and congratulations, ladies. We have been told that there is live streaming on the Tourism International FB, Facebook. So you're all actually being streamed live to millions of people around the world, right, Rina? Yes. And this year, we are also doing it differently because we have a voting app. And this voting app, we get to choose top three to, to make it to the top ten. And it officially actually started before the delegates arrived two weeks ago. And it officially ended yesterday. So we would actually know that the top three with the most votes who will go into the top 10 of the Miss Tourism International Finals. Exciting stuff and the results are of course still to come. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, the evening continues with the delegates parading in the evening wear by Emily Collections from Vietnam. The designer herself was the winner of Miss Vietnam Tourism Metropolitan in 2016. And today, she has embarked in the fashion industry with her own design, the Fashion Royale. Let's take a look. I've got to let the world know that you're mine Through rain, snow or sunshine Love 
Once again, that is our beautiful 45 delegates wearing the Emily collections all the way from Vietnam. Thank you. Miss Tourism International is not only about the pageant, but it's full of fun time for the delegates. Now please feast your eyes on the screen as we take them on a city tour. show you that our delegates had fun in the sun in beautiful Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia, for those of you visiting for the very first time, is a collage of many different things. We've got our history, we've got our beautiful skyscrapers, wonderful aquariums, delicious food, and a bountiful handicraft. We also are a country of beautiful women, as you can see. Thank you very much, Terence. Now, looking at the video, it really reminds me back in the pageant days where we get to do the same thing that I did. And I remember all of my friends, the delegates of Mysterism International, really had a great time. And that year, we get to visit Malacca itself. That's a beautiful place. And our delegates, having had that experience to soak up Malaysia, they get to choose whether to come back. That's very true because they have gotten a taste of Malaysia as well as KL and if they do consider to come back, they can also come back to study because the Lim Kok Wang University of Creative Technology is giving away a total of 4 million ringgit worth of scholarships for all delegates who have decided to come back again to Malaysia to study. I do hope that in having their fun in the sun, they did get to experience Malaysia's biggest asset of food. Now I know it's a beauty pageant and diets and restrictions are definitely part of the event, but I do hope they had that opportunity to taste our world famous food and cuisine, which is of course something that brings tourists back here time and time again. Because most people will be spoiled for choice, there's plenty. I mean, you're talking about local food, even for some, especially halal food. You can find it anywhere and they're totally delicious. I think we better not talk about food right now because, you know, we'll get hungry. I'm sure you're all pretty all right because you're enjoying your dinner. But let's talk about the handicrafts. 
Because if you look at the visit to Craft Tangan Malaysia, there's an abundance of traditional handicraft from Malaysia itself. Is there any particular handicraft that you like, Wina? Um, of course, I like the batik. And I remember during my year, we did the uh, coloring the batik uh, activities and a lot of my delegates, they bring home their own batik design. And that is really, really cool because you get to wear the batik in multiple ways, as a sorrow, as a dress, and uh, a lot of them. We're about to see an actual representation of what you just talked about on stage momentarily as our delegates will be bringing uh, Bate creations to life on our stage for you this evening. Now besides Bate, of course, Malaysia is home to a wide array of handicraft and this is representative of the various cultures that live here in Malaysia. So if you have a moment to spare or a day to spare and you're watching uh, right here live, I know a lot of you are visiting for the very first time, please do take some time of your own to soak up some Malaysian fun in the sun, enjoy our craft, enjoy our food, enjoy our people. Ladies and gentlemen, the colors of Malaysia is brought to life with our next presentation. Let's now welcome the delegates back on stage for the Batik Wear segment. A Batik Beach Wear by Craft Tongan Malaysia. Bless them when there ain't no stress, and this one is straight for the girl, them. Enrique Iglesias, alongside Tente de Zona. Get the girl, them in the zona. Get them to Big Mount, trying to find.
From Bate Kabaya to Bate Kutua. gentlemen we hope you enjoyed the delegates performances if yes let's give them a round of applause and it is time for us to announce the first part of the subsidiary title winners adopted by our sponsors we have a total of 12 for the first round and the first subsidiary title is Miss Best Physique adopted by fitness concept specialist Change in Rebel Heart and the winner is Thailand, Matawi Tiraliku. We'd like to invite Mr. Bernard Ao Yong, the group chief executive, to present the Miss Best Physique. Congratulations to Thailand for winning the Miss Best Physique adopted by fitness concept specialist James Rembahad. I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Bernard for presenting this award. Thank you. Next, Miss Dazzling adopted by Focus Point Vision Care Group, Cindy Rembahad. Miss Dazzling goes to the Philippines, Julianne Fernandez. We'd like to invite Mr. Calvin Liao, Executive Director, to kindly sash Miss Dazzling. Congratulations to Philippines, Julianne Fernandez, on winning Miss Dazzling, adopted by Focus Point Vision Care Group, Cindy Renverhaad. Congratulations. For the next subsidiary title, Miss Fascinating, adopted by Mindland. And it goes to 
Romania, Ada Maria Elena. We'd like to invite Mr. Damon Chan, the Managing Director, to present this award. Congratulations to Romania, our Miss Fascinating, adopted by Mines Land. Thank you very much, Mr. Damon. Our next up to title is Miss Elegance, adopted by Le Lumeries and P. Red Miss Elegance goes to Malaysia, Haiyan Ung. I'd like to invite Miss Mary Lou, General Manager of Miss Elegance, to kindly, ma Managing Director of Lou, Le Lou Marie, to kindly sash Miss Elegance. Congratulations to Malaysia, Kayan Ng, on winning Miss Elegance, adopted by Le Lou Marie, Sinti Renbrahai. Thank you very much, Miss Mary Lou. Next subsidiary title, Miss Wellness, adopted by Jintel Malaysia Sundram Bahad. And it goes to Korea, Yu Ji Hoon. We'd like to invite Mr. Sam Kong, the general manager of Jintel, to rest and go. Thank you very much, Mr. Sam, and congratulations to Korea. Our next subsidiary title is Miss Futuristic, adopted by FusionX. We congratulate Australia, Manuela Gregorian. I'd like to invite Mr. James Hong, Senior Vice President of FusionX, to kindly sash Miss Futuristic Australia. Congratulations once again to Miss Futuristic Australia, Manuela Gregorian. Thank you, Mr. James Ong. Next, we would like to present Miss Socialite, adopted by Bar Street KL. And it goes to Laos, Tida Citizai. We would like to invite Mr. Ricky Lai, the Managing Director, to present this award. Thank you very much, Mr. Ricky, and congratulations to Laos. The next subsidiary title is Miss Glowing, adopted by Gloja's Health Clinic. Miss Glowing goes to Indonesia, Astari Inda Vernidiani. I'd like to invite Yamar Bahagia, Dr. Dr. Jas G, to kindly sash Miss Glowing. Congratulations, Miss Glowing, Indonesia, Astari Inda Vernidiani. And thank you, Yamar Bhagya, Dato Dr. Jazji. 
Next, we would like to present Miss Vitality, adopted by Hayo Enterprise. And Miss Vitality goes to New Zealand, Nikita Horant, and would like to invite Mr. Tan Kim Xiong, the director, to present this award. Congratulations to New Zealand, our Miss Vitality, adopted by High O Enterprise, and thank you very much, Mr. Tan. The next subsidiary title is Miss Charming, adopted by Carlo Reno. Miss Charming goes to Indonesia, Astari Inda Bernidiani. I'd like to invite Christy Chan, Senior Manager, Advertising and Promotions, to kindly sash Miss Charming. Congratulations to Miss Charming, Indonesia, Astari Indavernidiani, and thank you, Miss Christy Chan. Next, we have Miss My Beauty Tourism Ambassador, adopted by My Beauty Malaysia. And it goes to China, Zhang Weiqi. We'd like to invite Yamba Bagya, Dr. Casey Wong, Director of Oriental Maze Group, Bahad, to present this award. Congratulations to China and thank you very much in Baghdad to Casey Wong. And our final subsidiary title in this round is Best in Talent, adopted by Detach International, Cindy Wenberhard. Best in Talent goes to Mexico, Claudia Patricia Morato Garcia. I'd like to invite Ms. Zoe Tan, Ms. Malaysia Queen of Tourism, 1996, to kindly sash Best in Talent. Thank you so much, Ms. Zoe Tan. And once again, we'd like to say big congratulations to all of our winners of the subsidiary title. Thank you. Thank you, delegates. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies and gentlemen, up next, as Carol promised, we're gonna introduce you to our best in talent. She was just sashed moments ago on this very stage. Please help us welcome to the stage, best in talent, Mexico, Claudia Patricia Morato Garcia.
big round of applause for our best in Thank talent, you. Mexico. What a wonderful performance, and no wonder she won the best in talent subsidiary title. Now, Miss Ladies, ladies and Gentlemen, Miss Tourism International is not just about the competition, but it's also about promoting tourism, culture, and friendship. And most importantly, it is about cultivating a caring heart. And with the team of Because We Care, let us take a look at the inner beauty of the delegates as they find their time visiting the charity organizations. It is time for the final round. The delegates will now be taking to the stage one last time in the evening wear before we announce the top 10. Please do enjoy the beautiful dresses of each of the representatives from the respective countries. Our delegates, ladies and gentlemen.
like a flow. Wrist icicle, ride my bicycle. Come true, yo. Get you this type of blow. If you wanna manage, I gotta try suck out. Oh, 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 Mm. I, I, I give zero folk, then I got zero chillin' me, kissin' me, cop the blue box that say Tiffany, curry with the shot, just tell them to call me Stephanie, gun pop, can I make my gun pop, I'm the queen of rap, young Ariana run pop. Mm. These friends keep talking way too much, say I should give them up, can't hear them no, cause I... So far away from my father's daughter She just wants a life For a baby All on her own No one will come She's got to save him Daily struggle She tells him Ooh, love No one's ever gonna hurt you, love I'm gonna give you all of my love Nobody matters like you Stay up there She Stay tells up him there. your life Ain't gonna be nothing like my life Stay. You're gonna Gentlemen, a round of applause to the 45 delegates of Miss Tourism International. Now, the moment of glory is getting closer, as from now, we will stream down to top 10. This year, we have a voting poll where the three highest votes delegates will secure the position in the top 10. Let's take a look. First in the top 10, Indonesia, Astari Inda Vernidiani.
Next, we have... Malaysia! Kian And also qualifying to the top 10 via one of the three highest votes received is Venezuela, Michelle Jardine Vivas Lopez. And ladies and gentlemen, we have seven spots left. The judges have had the arduous task of choosing the remaining seven spots. And the judges have selected Australia, Sandra Callahan. Czech Republic, Adela Reskova. Congratulations to Kenya, Sarah Shubert Park. Also in the top 10, Mexico, Claudia Patricia Morato Garcia. Latvia, Laura Skirtain. Second last spot goes to Philippines, Julian Fernandez. And our final spot in the top 10 goes to Korea, Yu Ji Hyun. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our top 10. Thank you to all our delegates on stage. We would like to invite our top 10 finalists of the Miss Rosa International 2018 to please remain on stage as we invite the rest of the delegates to please proceed to the backstage. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. You know, as a host, it's kind of a crowning moment when you get to do a Q&A round with international beauty queens. So, Mom, I hope you're watching. I'm on TV. Ladies, you're now a step closer to the crown. And from now on, all previous scores will be erased and the competition starts anew. You're given 20 seconds to answer one of these questions. I shall invite first in alphabetical order to kindly of take position here at the microphone to begin this round. I'll invite Australia's Sandra Callahan to kindly of step forward first. Australia, your question is, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through 
culture. As an ambassador for tourism, I would promote culture through a variety of things. Culture is such a broad thing, and especially for Australia, we are so diverse. And culture can be promoted through things such as eating different types of food, dance, arts, music, and a variety of things. And whilst in Malaysia, I have learned Malaysian culture um, through art, and in particular, Batik, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. And next, I'd like to invite, from the Czech Republic, Adela Raskova. Good evening, Adela. Your question is, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through? Eco and nature. I believe that we must start promoting uh, tourism from small kids. I study uh, special need education at Faculty of uh, Education, and if I learn small kids, I talking with them about tourism and the nature very often and it's necessary talking with them about ecology and this. Thank you. Thank you, Czech Republic's Adela Raskova. <laughs> Up next, I'd like to invite the delegate from Indonesia, Astari Inda Vernitiani. Good evening, Astari. Good evening. Your question is, in 20 seconds, tell us, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through sport? All right. Thank you for the question. As Miss Tourism International, I think sport tourism is the best way to promote Malaysia. I will do three things, explore, capture, and show it to the world. As we know, we have 4 billion internet across to the globe and I believe visit Malaysia we can achieve because Malaysia is truly Asia. Thank you. Terima kasih. Sama -sama. Thank you. Indonesia Astari Indah Vernitiani. Our next delegate is from Kenya, Sarah Shabat. Good evening, Sarah. Good evening. In 20 seconds, tell us, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through the various tourism attractions? Thank you for the question. I cannot start imagining how blessed we are as the earth. We start from the icy mountains in the northern tropical to the vast savanna grasslands in the equator down to the Antarctica. The tourism attractions that we are endowed in this world are unbelievable. As the tourism ambassador, I would strongly advocate for the conservation of all these attractions, especially the endangered species that are going to leave our earth, such as the giraffes, the rhinos that we have in Kenya, the elephants, and also the tigers in Asia. I could use my title to conserve all these tourism attractions so that our earth could continue becoming beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Kenya. Sarah Shabat. Our next delegate is from Korea, Yoo Ji Hyun. And I understand you will be using the benefit of a translator to help answer this question. As a tourism ambassador in 20 seconds, how would you promote tourism through shopping? Shopping uh, uh, tourism tourism shopping 
네, 쇼핑. 자, 말레이시아의 쇼핑은 정말 많은 다양한 예쁜 것들과 다양한 것들이 함께 한다고 생각합니다. 그래서 이 많은 것들을 많은 세계적으로 다양하게 홍보하고 싶습니다. 감사합니다. She believes that there are a lot of varieties in uh, when it comes to shopping in Malaysia. So she would like to promote uh, shopping through this a lot of varieties of shopping. Uh, yeah. I understood absolutely what she said because her face lit up the moment you said shopping. Thank you very much, Korea. Yu Ji Hyun. Our next delegate, ladies and gentlemen, is from Latvia, Laura Skutain. Good evening, Laura. In 20 seconds, tell us, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through entertainment? Thank you for your question. Um, so I think that I would, first of all, uh, cooperate with local marketing team, which knows how things work around and uh, through the research. So we know what further actions we have to take, what we have to do for people to meet their expectations and uh, developing tourism. Because in the end of the day, tourism is about connecting people. Thank you. Thank you, Latvia's Laura Scute. Six delegates have answered their questions, four remain. Our next delegate is from Malaysia, Kane Ung. Good evening, Kane. And your question, in 20 seconds, tell us, as a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through music and the arts? Well, the world is a very beautiful place. With every country, you can see with a different music and art. So if I were an ambassador, I will have a traveling channel to promote and show the last and present um, the last and present country that I have traveled to. Thank you. Thank you, Malaysia's Kane Ung. Only three delegates remain, ladies and gentlemen. Our next delegate is Mexico's Claudia Patricia Morato Garcia. Good evening, Claudia. Well, your question is, in 20 seconds, tell us, if you were a tourism ambassador, how would you promote tourism through fashion? Good evening, Malaysia. First, I want to say um, it was such an exciting experience. Malaysia offers a unique, rich combination of ancient and modern civilization in so many ways. It is a beautiful mix of many cultures that makes this wonderful country one of a kind. I will use um, social media. It's something that we use a lot in this time. And I will invite all the models around the world to meet Malaysia, to invite all the world to um, uh, stay here in Malaysia. You must, you must be so proud of this delightful country. Malaysia, truly Asia. Thank you. Thank you, Mexico's Claudia Patricia Morato Garcia. Our next delegate is from the Philippines, Julianne Fernandez. Good evening, Julianne. Good evening. Your question is, in 20 seconds, tell us how you'd promote tourism through festivals. A 
As a tourism ambassador, I will promote tourism through festival by being an example, I myself, to promote, support, and attend these festivals. I will use my future profession as a broadcast journalist to voice out to the people that festivals do not only promote the culture of the country where you are, but it promotes unity among diversity. Because through festivals, people come together, people unite, and the best way to promote tourism is to be an example, to be an influence, to be the people's queen. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines Julianne Fernandez. I see you brought a festival with you. And our final delegate in the top 10, Venezuela's Michelle Gerardine Vivas Lopez. Good evening. Good evening. Michelle, in 20 seconds, tell us how you would promote tourism if you were an ambassador through cuisine, food. Okay. I think that the most beautiful thing about a country is their people. But beside that, their culture and their cuisine, of course, is part of the culture. I will promote it uh, through the social media. I think it's a big and really easy tool to get to everybody around the world. So, of course, I will promote it through social media. Thank you very much. Teddy Makasi. Sama Sama, Venezuela's Michelle Gerardine Vivas Lopez. I think that's, that round was more nerve wracking for me than for them. Boy, what an experience, and we hope that our judges are tabulating the scores right now. Delegates back on stage, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to announce the next list of subsidiary title winners for this evening. So on that note, we proceed with Miss Transetter, adopted by Soko KL Department Store, Cindy Van Brahat. Miss Transetter goes to France, Julie Georges. I'd like to invite Inje Isan Ismail, Public Relations, so go KL to kindly take the stage and sash Miss Trendsetter. Congratulations to Miss France. And for our next subsidiary title is Miss Glamour's adopted 
by Christy. And this glamorous goes to Miss Vietnam, Franti Kialen. Like to invite Miss Magdalene Lem from Christy to please come up on stage to sash the winner. Congratulations to Vietnam, Franti Gyalin, Miss Glamorous. Our next subsidiary title is Best in Social Media, adopted by D-Touch International, Cindy Renrahan. Best in Social Media is Belarus, Carolina Karnashe. I'd like to invite Miss Evan Chin, Miss Malaysia Globe 1993, the Kylie Sash, best in social media. Or best in social media, Belarus. And for Miss Popularity, adopted by One Smart Star, it goes to Malaysia, Kayin Eng. We'd like to invite Mr. K.S. Chan, Chief Technology Officer of One Smart Star, to sash the winner. Congratulations, Kane Ung, Malaysia, Miss Popularity. Our next subsidiary title is Miss Beautiful Skin, adopted by BioEssence. Miss Beautiful Skin is Korea, Yu Ji Hyun. I'd like to invite Miss Christine Ho, Senior Marketing Manager, BioEssence, the kindly sash, Miss Beautiful Skin, Korea. Congratulations to Yu Ji Hyun from Korea for winning the Miss Beautiful Skin. And next, we have the Miss Congeniality adopted by Royal Business, Sundar Burhat. And the winner is Taiwan Wu Yu Xuan for winning Miss Congeniality. We'd like to invite Mr. Derek Lee. System and Marketing Manager of the Royal Bird Nest in Gambard to sash a winner. Congratulations, Miss Congeniality, Taiwan, Wu Yuxuan. Thank you, Mr. Derek Lee. Our next subsidiary title is Miss Inspiration, adopted by Proton Holdings Berhad. Miss Inspiration is Venezuela, Michelle Jardine. I'd like to invite Miss Gloria Pang Lee Jun, CFO of Proton Holdings Berhad, to kindly sash Miss Inspiration.
congratulations, Miss Inspiration, Venezuela's Michelle Jardine. Thank you, Miss Gloria Park. And now we have Miss Friendship, adopted by D-Touch International, Sundaran Berhard. And the winner of the Miss Friendship goes to Macedonia, Angela Vasilevska. We'd like to invite Miss Levan Slim, Miss Melissa Tourism, Queen of the Year 2004, to search a winner. Congratulations, Miss Friendship, Macedonia's Angela Vasilevska. And a final subsidiary title adopted by Elden Street is Miss Global Ambassador. Miss Global Ambassador goes to Indonesia, Asari Inda Vardidiani. I'd like to invite number Bahagia out of the street, Desmond To, to kindly sash Miss Global Ambassador, Indonesia. Congratulations, Miss Global Ambassador, Indonesia's Astari Inda Bernidiani. Thank you, Yamra Market on the street, Desmond Zou. We'd now like to invite our top 10 finalists to please make your way to the backstage. And we'd like to invite the rest of the delegates to please remain on stage. Because very soon we are going to make an announcement of the winner. But before that, we have a very special title that we will be presenting this evening. That's right, Carol. This very special title is for Southeast Asia. We focus on all our ambassadors, our delegates from the Southeast Asian region. So on that note, we would like to congratulate Miss Southeast Asia Tourism Ambassadress 2018-2019, Malaysia's Kane Ung. I'd like to invite Yamra Bahagia Tan Sri Danny Uy, as well as Eugenie Uy, Miss Tourism Queen of the Year 2011, to kindly take the stage. I'd like to invite Miss Southeast Asia Tourism Ambassadress 2018-2019 to kindly step forward. Malaysia's Kane Ng. Once again, we'd like to invite Yaman Bakitan Danny and Eugenie Uy, Miss Tourism Queen of the Year 2011. To kindly sash Miss Southeast Asia Tourism Ambassadress 2018 2019. This special subsidiary title is only for the delegates from the Southeast Asian nations, and we congratulate Malaysia's Kane Ng on receiving this title. Congratulations once again to Malaysia Kane Ng.
And thank you very much, Tansi Dr. Danny Wei, as well as Eugenie Wei, for being on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to unveil the pinnacle of this evening, which is the results that we've all been waiting for. Our judges have deliberated, and we're ready to deliver the results. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, there isn't just one winner. This is a very special event where we have five winners in one event. And first of all, tonight we have the Dream Girl of the Year 2018 and 19. And the winner is Babu Hive, Philippines, Julian Fernandez. We'd like to invite Amber Bagatansri, Dr. Danny Uwe, the kindly sash Dream Girl of the Year 2018, 2019. And I'd like to invite Ms. Christine Shen Jiahui. Miss Tourism, Queen of the Year International 2005 to crown Dream Girl of the Year 2018, 2019 and present the trophy. We'd like to invite Yamabhagya Tansri to also be joined by Yamabhagya Dato Ahmad Shah to kindly present the trophy to our winner. Congratulations, Dream Girl of the Year 2018-2019, Philippines, Julianne Fernandez. Next, we present Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International 2018-2019 to Latvia's Laura Skutain. Once again, we'd like to buy Yamper Bahagia Nasri Dato Deni Ui and witness by Yamper Bahagia Dato Omar Shah Hussein Tambakau as well as Miss Emily, Miss Tourism Vietnam Metropolitan 2016 to Sash as well as crown a winner of the Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International 2018-2019, which is Latvia Laura Scutale. Congratulations, Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International 2018-2019. Thank you, Tan Sri, Dr. Danny Ui. Thank you, Yamar Bahagia, Dr. Ahmad Shah Hussein Tambakao. And thank you, Miss Emily, Miss Tourism Vietnam Metropolitan 2016. And next, we have Miss Tourism Global 2018 2019 goes to Australia, Sandra Callahan. I'd like to invite once again Emma Bhagat Dansri and Dr. Danny Ui, the kindly sash, Miss Tourism Global, Miss Wiener Marcus, Miss Tourism Global 2009 to crown Miss Tourism Global, and Emma Bhagat Dr. Ahmad Shah Hussein Tabakao to kindly present the trophy to our winner. Congratulations once again to Miss Australia, Sandra Callahan, for winning the Miss Tourism Global 2018-2019. Thank you once again, Dan Sri and Danny Ui. Thank you, Miss Wiener Marcus. And thank you, Kimber Vargia, Dr. Ahmad Shah Hussein, the Macau. Next, we present Miss Tourism Metropolitan International 2018-2019.
Please join us in congratulating Kenya Sarah Shaban. I'd like to invite Nansri Nato Daniui to sash Miss Tourism Metropolitan International, Miss Karina, Miss China Tourism Metropolitan 2016 to crown Miss Tourism Metropolitan International and Yamaba Giana to Abacha Hussein Tabakao to present the trophy to our winner. Congratulations, Miss Tourism Metropolitan International, Kenya's Sarah Shaban. Thank you very much, Nancy Dada Denimui, as well as Yada Ahmad Shah Hussein. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to invite all of you to take a look at a special video of the journey a message by a reigning Miss Tourism International. My reign as Miss Tourism International will end tonight. As I look back with the journey I had competing in this pageant a year ago, I can say it was indeed a very memorable experience that I will never forget. Representing my country, the Philippines, was really an honor since it was my childhood dream to wear the sash of my nation as my country's representative in one of the prestigious international pageants. Honestly, when I arrived here, I've told myself that competition aside, I will enjoy the whole experience for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It felt like a fun-filled month of vacation, but with a little twist. I was able to meet new friends through my fellow candidates, and most importantly, I was able to appreciate the beauty of Malaysia and its people. I did not have a hard time at all staying here because Malaysia and the Philippines are so much alike when it comes to culture, values, diversity, and with its warm-hearted people. Winning Miss Tourism International last year was the pinnacle of all the hard works, sacrifices, and devotion I had for years. I never imagined that the ultimate dream will turn into a reality. That's why, from the bottom of my heart, I want to extend my gratitude to the whole organization for believing in me and making it come true. I also want to thank God Almighty for all the guidance as well as my family and friends who were with me from the very beginning of my journey. To all the lovely and deserving girls in this stage with me, remember that all of you are winners already. Treasure this experience and friendship you gained throughout the competition. As I finally reach the final moments of my reign, it will not stop me to continue and spread all the learnings and experiences that I gained with Mysterism International. Terima kasih, Malaysia. Till then. Please help me welcome Miss Tourism International 2017-2018 from the Philippines, Jenny Alipeon, for her farewell parade. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the announcement that we have been waiting for. But to do the honors of announcing the winner of Miss Tourism International 2018-2019, we'd like to invite the president 
of Miss Tourism International himself, Tan Sri Datudiani Ui, to kindly do the honors. I would like to invite Ms. Wong Tree Ling to kindly hand the result card to Yambra Bhagya Tan Sri on stage. Let's give a round of applause to all the ladies, please. Thank you. Miss Tourism International 2018-2019, Indonesia. Congratulations, Asnari Inda Renitiani. We'd like to invite Dan Sridhatudiani Oe to kindly sash Miss Tourism International 2018-2019, Miss Janine Ladet, to kindly place the crown on her. And of course, once again, we'd like to invite Yamar Bagir to Ahmad Shah Hussein the Bakao to present the trophy to our winner. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and for Miss Tourism International 2018-2019, Indonesia's Astari Inda Vernidiani. We now like to invite our newly crowned Miss Tourism International 2018-2019 for her victory parade. Congratulations once again. To Miss Indonesia, Astari Inda Bernidiani. Judges to come on stage for a group photo. Can we have all the winners to join our newly crowned Miss Tourism International 2018-2019 for a group photo? And on stage we have Miss Southeast Asia Tourism Ambassadress Kay Nung, Dream Girl of the Year 2018-2019. Julianne Fernandez, Miss Tourism Cosmopolitan International, Laura Scutani, Miss Tourism Global, Sandra Callahan, Miss Tourism Metropolitan International, Sarah Shabe, and Miss Tourism International 2018-2019, Astari Inda Vernidiani.